Okay, hey guys, you're here with Denitra, and I'm going to show you some things that um I made yesterday. Um, I made this flower, um, and I got this idea from Bona, and she's at Live Love Scrap. She makes the prettiest things, and when I saw this flower, I decided to make one. Only thing was that I didn't have any of the punches that she suggested you use, and I didn't have any glimmer lint mist. Um, and what else didn't I have? That she, oh, I think that was it. But I used my Cricut, and I cut out this oval um, at two inches from the from my kitchen cartridge, because they have like one page with just ovals on it. So um, I used that. I cut out five of them at two inches, and then I inked it um, with, I used, um, what color was that? Close to Cocoa Stampin' Up! ink and chocolate chip around the edges. And then I took some Tattered Rose Distress Stickles, which I just got. And I'm loving um, these Distress Stickles. Really nice. Um, I'm going to get some more. And then um, I put that all over it. And then I heat set it. And then on the ends of each flower, I put some iridescent ice just kind of lightly on there. So you can see a little bit of the shimmer. It's so pretty. And then I took my a brad and put it in the middle. And I bent, you know, the ovals like she did. But I, mine didn't bend as much. And then I put some crystal effects on the brad. So thank you, Bona, for this wonderful idea. I am hooked. I think I'm going to make a few more of these um, in different colors. <clears throat> um, I hope you guys like this flower. It's really cute. Try it. Um, so thanks, Bona, again for the inspiration for this. Um, and I made some tags using the Asian Artistry stamp set. It's a level 2 stamp set from Stampin' Up! And that's where the flower came from. And I just stamped it in close to cocoa and then I watercolored it um, with my watercolor pencils and some ink. And it came out really cute. Um, I put iridescent ice on the leaves and then I crystal effect the um, stems. And I did nothing to the roses because they were already beautiful um, with the coloring and the way that the stamp is, is made. It's really pretty. So. Um, I want to get some of that shimmer. And this tag is cut from the Plantain School Book cartridge um, at four, I think. And I just used a journaling block stamp and stamped the lines on there and close to Coco. Um, here is that block here. So. And then this one, same thing, except I used chocolate chip on the edge. That's Morgan. You alright? Okay. Um, and I put iridescent ice on some of the leaves or the stems down Mommy, there watercolored Mommy, it yes mm -hmm. okay. and then I put some distress stickles at the end um you can see just a little bit that dark down there um and on this one I put journal box on you know the side and then I stamped this bird and the stem and I put crystal effects only on the bird and then put the distress stickles down on um, this. And then for this, I used the um, antique bronze color. I like this. Really nice. Okay, and one more. It's a card that I made. <clears throat> um, and I used the Crazy for Cupcake stamp set. And um, I don't remember any of the measurements or anything. But I watercolored the cupcake and I cut it out. And then I put some crystal effects on the sprinkles and the fire. And then some distress stickles on the bottom of, you know, the cupcake holder. And you can see a little bit of the shine from the crystal effects. Then I put crystal effects on the buttons to make them really shimmery. And I, I put this faux ribbon here is what I'm calling it. Because it looks like the double stitched, the one inch double stitch girl grain ribbon. But it's not. To me it does. I don't know. Okay. So that's um all of this that I've made. Um, I hope you guys like these projects, and um, I hope to make some more. So thank you for watching. Bye.